all today. So as promised, I am back with vocabulary and as requested, sentence correction and odd man out just for you. Okay, guys. So before we get started, uh, I'm Bobby Yadav and I've taught for various common written exams like CAT, MAT, PGCT and banking exams. I have 10 plus years of teaching experience and worked in several uh, institutions, uh, renowned institutions like that. Before I joined an academy, please subscribe to hashtag CAT Live Daily. Guys, please subscribe to hashtag uh, cat life daily. Awesome. So we already have Anmesh who is here. So Anmesh, uh, finally you changed your name here. Yeah? Um, that's nice. Hi Anjali. Welcome to today's session. Good evening. Okay, so guys, I think all of you have downloaded the Telegram app. If you have not, please download it today and click on the URL which is shared by our team uh, on and off uh, in your chat itself. Uh, you will be able to download all the notes and uh, the video which I share with you every evening. So that would be awesome. So I have a whole lot of students joining in. Rishika, hi, Swapnil. Swapnil. Uh, Bhavna Kumari, Pooja Kumari, Naresh Harwani, hello, good evening, welcome to the session. Awesome, guys. Uh, and so, uh, guys, so uh, we have come to the Anacademy subscription. Please uh, do subscribe to the course because you have multiple advantages. Uh, you will get live sessions, you interact with your educator. And then uh, the sessions will be more or less personalized for you. And doubt clearing sessions, you will have the test series and analysis test series. So a whole lot of benefit. Uh, guys, and the uh, subscription is very, very reasonable. If you can see, uh, for one month, it's just 3,500. Three months, it's 2.7. Six months, it's 2 triple three, 12 months, 14.58. 24 months is really, really um, reasonable, which is 875. Isn't it awesome? Awesome, guys. And then on top of it, if you are using my coupon code, uh, coupon code you get an additional discount of 10%. Please use BYLIV and you get an additional um, discount of 10%. Amazing, guys. So we have um so many others joining in priyanka gupta hello Shadik, abhilasha hello how are you good evening my dear sam good evening Gyata, Gyata. and uh, lucky Vinden. okay namil uh thank you i'm fine namil and ayushi a whole lot of uh them are here chandan uh hello how are you so welcome to today's session guys as promised uh you had a requested for a sentence correction session and an odd man out so i have come with the same session for you as requested so we will just wait for another one minute before i get started hi rc hi jagriti hello shivendra ronit kumar good evening how are all of you hi shilpa Good evening, my dear. We'll just wait for another two minutes before we get started. I'm good, I'm good. Damnil, I'm good. Great to know that you guys are good too. So, just another one minute and we get started, guys. Super. So, have you all been attending Amit Sir's session too for Quant? Have you all been attending Amit Sir's session too for Quant? Hi, Kishan. Hi, Shivam. Good evening, my dear. All of you, welcome to the today's session. Shall we get started? Get going, guys. Okay. Now we start with the first one, 
please pick up the word that does not belong to the group pick up the word that does not belong to the group so we have a mixture of good a tough and easy one so but i would again advise guys please uh, take your time we are not in a hurry okay we are hi friends how are you um that's what i was asking what is the time for search session so search session is at 6:30 garesh thank you so much navneel thank you i hope the videos are helpful and um, you are able to pick up the grammar there great Hi, Swamji. I'm fine. So, ma, thank you so much, and then as long as it is helping you all, I'm happy. So, I have um, some common answers. Some of them are uh, varied in their opinion. So. Jagriti, I am not giving you the meaning. When I discuss, I will give you the meaning. So I have a mixed bag of answers today. Let everyone answer. Answer, then I discuss. Hi, Shravani. Hi, Aman. Amad, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you? So, guys, I have a mixed bag of answers. Some say B and some say D. So, guys, um, so there are many who say D and some uh, many of you say B. Now, guys, let's discuss this. Who is a collector? A person who keeps collecting something, right? Same with the hoarder who hoards wealth. He keeps collecting money, isn't it? Uh, so, and if you look at miser, miser is a person who, in common terms, is a conduit. So, a miser also collects money, isn't it? He collects, miser collects, hoarder hoards wealth. This is also a type of collection. Collector so is always collecting. He also collects. But peddler is your answer. Answer is D, guys. Peddler. Peddler is a person. Jagriti. Peddler is a person who sells goods. Usually, don't we talk about drug peddlers uh, who sells uh, drugs? Um. Donald Trump, you want me to speak in Hindi? Uh, see, मुझे आता है हिंदी ऐसा नहीं है कि मुझे नहीं आता है पर हर एक वर्ड को समझाना वो शायद मुश्किल हो जाए आपको जो भी डाउट हो वो पूछ लीजिएगा मैं हिंदी में एक्सप्लेन कर लूंगी तो द आंसर इज तो डोनल्ड ऐसा है कि चार वर्ड्स है ठीक है उसमें तीन सेम रहेगा एक अलग रहेगा जो अलग है वर्ड वो आपको ढूंढना है समझ में आया अब ये देखिए कलेक्टर होडर और माइजर सब पैसे इकट्ठा करते हैं कुछ ना कुछ इकट्ठा करते हैं ठीक है पेडलर सामान बेचते हैं इसीलिए पेडलर अलग से है दैट इज दैन आउट 
चलो चलो गाइस किया सब ठीक है आगे बढ़े चलो फास्ट Jagrati, you have to give me the answer. So I have B. I have um, some people answering B. Most of you answering B. Guys, are you even going through the words properly, guys? Are you even going through the words properly? I'm really upset because you guys are not going through the words properly. Please once more go through the words carefully and then select your answers guys. Blindly don't select. So I have ratio Tanishka and I found another girl. Seja, Seja are the only three students who have uh, uh, given me the correct answer. Yes, my dear Jagriti, you will never know all the meanings of the words. You have to guess only. But then you are not even thinking. You are just choosing blindly. You are choosing blindly. That's not done. Yatendra Pratap has also got it right. Ankita Jha, good evening my dear. Now look at this guys. Ah, now all of you are saying C because I have already given you the answer. Now see guys, the explanation here is when you came or when we are talking about master. And when we are talking about subjugation, what does it indicate? It indicates that either you control or you are under control. Right? Okay, Nadesh, you also given the right answer. So, when we are talking of tame, you tame a dog. He is under control. The master controls people. Subjugation also means under control. So what is the word left? The word is abandon. Your answer is abandon which is to desert. Desert someone. Leave someone alone. Uh, did you get it? Guys, any doubts? So the answer is abundant. Subjugation. Subjugation means uh, when you are subjugated to slavery. Do you understand? That means you take control of someone. Subjugate someone means you take control. Um, you take control over someone.
Did you follow guys? All of you? See guys, though, though these words may seem easy, they are not. I want you to think over and then answer. The more, uh, see Naresh, the more you solve these kind of um, uh, words, the more you uh, learn about uh, the etymology of words and uh, the more you read the newspaper and good magazines, you will be able to develop good vocab. It was actually simple. Okay. Okay, guys, I move on to the next one. Please, for one minute, think. Don't answer immediately. Think for one minute. Go through the words properly. Only then you select. Please go through the words carefully even before you select. So again, I have a whole lot of different answers. So Aradhana says, um, B is the right answer. Jagriti says C. Jaita says B. So, so I, I see a whole lot of you answering correctly, but in between I do find some students who are giving me a wrong answer. So guys, uh, when you are talking about, listen, when you are talking about entourage, entourage, retinue and train, what does it mean? mean these are people... These are people who travel in small groups. So, entourage, retinue and train. These are people who travel in small groups. Whereas rover, if you say rover, rover means a wanderer. So most of you, those who have uh, chosen anything other than B, you are wrong guys. 
B is the right answer, that is Rover. कोई बात नहीं हर्षद थोड़ा सा ध्यान दे दो थोड़ा सा ध्यान से देखो वर्ड्स को उसके बाद यू डिसाइड ऑन द वर्ड ओके ऑल ऑफ यू गॉट इट सी दैट्स व्हाट आई वाज टेलिंग यू ऑल दे दीज वर्ड्स लुक सिंपल बट दे आर नॉट सिंपल ओके यू हैव टू फाइंड अ कनेक्ट एंड कनेक्ट द वर्ड्स द थ्री वर्ड्स एंड देन फाइंड द ऑड वर्ड आगे बढ़े चलो गो ऑन टू नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट वन गाइस Thank you, Pink Swaraj. Okay, go on to the next one. This is an interesting one. Very interesting. Ah, uh, please go on to this one. Ah, uh, Manav, just refresh the page. Ah, uh, so Pushkar, Pushkar, you can refer to Raymond Murphy for South Asian students. Raymond Murphy for South Asian students. Intermediate grammar. That's a good book. Uh, guys, do you know the meanings? Can I don't want you to look up the dictionary, but I want you to give me the meaning. All of you have mostly given me the correct word. Yeah, the answer is D. Yes, the answer is D. That is right. Nectarine. Okay, okay. All of you have chosen D. That's the right answer. What is the meaning of a nectarine? Nectarine is a type of peach. Nectarine is a type of peach. Nectarine is a type of peach. Yeah, so pavanine, pavanine is related to peacock. Related to peacock. A uh, bovine is um, to do with cattle. Bovine is related to cattle. And what is lupine? What is lupine, guys? When it is, when you have the characteristic, characteristics of a wolf. So these are all connected to birds and animals, whereas nectarine is a fruit. Tanish, uh, if you have done, if you are done with um, Raymond Murphy, you can please uh, refer to Michael Swain. Michael Swain. So the answer here is D.
yes naresh uh, characteristics of a wolf it is uh, indicating characteristics of a wolf okay guys can we move on to the next one Ma'am, flower also. No, you find is characteristic of a wolf. Aradhana, see if you are looking for grammar, Raymond Murphy is the best book. Okay. Other books, uh, there is no point. I would suggest you read good magazines like Time, Outlook, or Frontline. Okay, I'm moving on to the next one. Tanish, I have already told you, please refer, if you are done with Raymond Murphy, please refer to Michael Stan. Don't ask us any questions. Again and again. Okay, good. Then you don't need any reference. Uh, I don't think you need any more reference, Tanish. Uh, Ankita Jha, see, there are several books. You have Arun Sharma and Meenakshi Upadhyaya. Yeah, you have Norman Lewis. Uh, you have, um, all these books are good. Yes. Uh, so, Rahul, uh, see, if you go too much into biological terms, I wouldn't know. Choose the answer, guys. What's your answer? So, I have some words coming up, uh, some alphabets coming up. Yes, uh, can you give me all the op options, guys? All of you answer, please. Ankita Jha, you know, I, I would suggest don't stick to one book. Uh, take materials from several books and uh, prepare yourself because you need to broad base your preparation. You can't stick to one thing here. Okay, so uh, guys, we will discuss this answer. You have Thanai, Thanai, Intrigue and uh, Conspire. These three words, what do they mean, guys? Connive, intrigue, and conspire. What is the meaning? They all, that means planning for a device. They plan. Plan for a DBS cause. Whereas, what does congeal mean? The answer is C. Yeah, they plan for some suggestions, correct? And congeal means to thicken or to harden. Congeal means to thicken or to harden. Okay, guys, all these device, device means something which is underhand, something which is unfair, which is, uh, mean, involves cheating. That is device. 
unfair involves cheating underhand all this is the meaning of device uh she is from where did generous come in from where does generous come in Sajish, ha, Sajish, yeah, correct. Ah, uh, Rahul Kumar, I don't think it, that is a good. Um, I wouldn't advise you to study from Renan Martin because uh, there have been several changes in English since that book was published. So I would suggest that you, uh, you know, refer to some other book. can we say something no it's not devilish it's something like which involves cheating or underhand dealing okay naresh it is not devil but it is something like which is underhand or involves cheating the okay, congenial is different this is just congeal congeal means to thicken or to harden yes guys can we move on to the next one Yeah, go on to the next one. Okay, guys, move on to the next one. Please go through the answers. Uh, go through the words carefully before you answer. All of you are in a hurry. All are in a hurry. Sajit, you are supposed to give me the answer. I am not giving you the answer now. Savani, very good. Savani is the only one who has answered correctly. Savani is the only one who has answered correctly, guys. Now, all of you, without knowing, you have chosen puerile, puerile, juvenile, and immature. These three words, guys. They mean childish or silly. So puerile, juvenile, and immature—they all mean childish or silly. And when you are talking about childlike, you are referring to innocent. Or when you are simple, childlike. Naresh, did you did you do it? I sorry, I didn't see. Where is Harshad? Harshad is not to be seen. Where are you, Harshad? So the answer is B. Sai Ganesh, yes, B is the answer. Please see the difference. Okay. 
Okay, can we move on to the next one? Guys, Guys, are you all done? Yeah, Harshad is not to be seen. That's why I'm asking, where is Harshad? He is not answering. Chalo, aage bate. Okay, answer quickly. So she's a, a childish. Childish means even an adult. Even an adult can behave in a childish manner, isn't it? When they are silly. When they don't make sense, that is childish. Whereas when you say childlike, childlike means very innocent, very simple. So again, we have uh, different answers coming in. We have different answers coming in. Think, think. Oh, Harshad is coming. Where were you, Harshad? Shilpa, Shilpa, Sesi, Ankita, Jiopardi. See, so many of them are saying C. Okay, guys. So, D is the right answer. D is the right answer. Jiopardi is the right answer. What is the meaning of Jiopardi, guys? Jeopardy means danger of loss or harm. Danger of loss or harm. That is the meaning of Jeopardy. And what is the meaning of conundrum? Conundrum, quandary, and paradox. What is the meaning of conundrum, paradox and quandary? It means difficult to understand. It means confusing, difficult problem. Yeah, it can also make a riddle. 
which is difficult to understand. Yes. So did you follow? So your answer is jeopardy. Jeopardy means danger of loss or harm. Yes, guys, all clear? So, anything associated with, uh, you know, non, when you don't have clarity, when it is difficult to understand, a difficult problem or a riddle which you are not able to follow, those are associated with conundrum, paradox and quandary. Clear? Yeah, guys, is it clear? Everyone is getting right except me. Rajdeep, thoda sa dhyan se, thik hai? Read the words properly. Just don't answer for a minute. The problem here is everyone starts answering, so everyone feels that even I should answer. Take your time because I wait, isn't it? I do wait for all the answers to come in before I share the answers. So please, first one minute, please go through the words. Even in your exams, guys, please don't be in a hurry. Please, that's my request. Yesterday also I kept requesting the same thing. Okay? answer it will be correct. Chalo, go on to the next one. Thank you, Ankita. If you have any doubts, please feel free to ask. Go through these words very, very carefully before you answer, guys. Don't be in a hurry. So I have some answers coming in. Reshu, Jagriti, Swaraj Verma, Harsh, Ankita, um, Prince Swaraj. Travani. Shilpa, Shilpa. Okay, guys. So, shall I uh, so, polygot? Yeah. So, I will discuss uh, all the words, guys. When you are talking about Savan, you are talking about academic. You are talking about a scholar. Now, all these guys indicate a very intellectual person. An intellectual person. Highly intellectual. Wait one second. So they are highly intellectual. Yeah. 
they are highly intellectual guys and or you can call erudite erudite means very very intellectual very intelligent okay whereas a polyglot uh, knows many knows several languages That is the answer guys so d is the answer d is the correct answer yes uh sai ganesh you were right rajdeep what happened what happened rajdeep you didn't get it right Hey guys, so those students who have not downloaded the Anacademy, uh, I mean the Telegram app, please download the Telegram app and click on the URL which is being shared by our team member. So a person polyglot. A polyglot knows several a person who speaks several languages. Very good, Rajdeep. Awesome. Fine. Shall we move on to the next one? Now tell me what is the difference? Ajay, no problem. No problem, Ajay. Join in and try to answer the question. You should actually subscribe to the video and so that every day you get a reminder, set a reminder for yourself that you have to join the um, uh, session at 8 o'clock. Then you will never miss a session, right? Tomorrow also I am going to conduct a very, very important session. I hope you will get the notification of it soon. So, it's a very important session tomorrow. So, the answer uh, I'm getting. So, I'm getting a lot of answers. Some say jargon, uh, some say C, and then I have B, EDM. C. Prabhu says uh, C. Anjali says C. Answer to Bolo Bolinge Ruko. Naresh. Awesome, Naresh. You are the only one who gave me the correct answer. Naresh Harwani is the only one who gave me the correct answer. The answer is metaphor, Rajdeep. The answer is metaphor. Metaphor is a figure of speech. And usually it is for comparisons. Right. Whereas when you talk of jargon, idiom, and parlance, these three words, what do they show, guys? They are all very difficult to understand. The other day we did a session, right? Uh, we spoke about indirect idioms. Remember, they are very difficult to understand.
Ma'am, actually, I have subscribed, but don't know how it gets subscribed. How does it happen? Subscribe it right now. Yes, my dear. So, uh, here we have to find out. Ankita, you are right. But here we have to find out what is common among the three and what is different in metaphor. So, when we are talking about jargon, idiom and parlance, they are difficult to understand. Whereas, metaphor is a comparison. Isn't it? Okay, guys, all of you here. Harshad also gave me the right answer. Harshad, Ahash. Great, great. Can we move on to the name? Okay, Ankita. Fine, we'll move on to the next one. Okay, now go on to the next one. So guys, uh, what I am trying to tell you is, see I am giving you these words, you are doing it now, just don't go and throw it in one corner, if you have written it down, just don't go and throw it in one corner, once in a way just go through the words so that you remember the meanings of these words, okay, uh, that is the uh, you know, major advantage of doing such exercises, wherein you, know, you get knowledge of so many words to put together. So, just don't, if you have written it down, just go and don't throw it in one corner. That, uh, rat gai baat gai. Rat gai baat gai, jase bhool mat jana. Once in a way, please keep revising these words. Prabhu, Parlance is also something which is difficult to answer. Difficult to understand. In this context, So, uh, Prabhuram, Prabhuram, uh, the answer to your question is, you can consider jargon as a synonym of parlance. Jargon is a synonym of parlance. So, I have a whole lot of answers coming in. Uh, some say privation, some say D. Sit Swarat says D. Naresh D. Uh, Jigar says D. Abhilasha says D. Legion Love says D. Harbinder Singh says D. Abhilasha D. Sweta D. Shilpa Shilpa. All those who have answered it as D is correct. Very good. Affluence is connected to richness or wealth. Affluence is connected to richness or wealth. And these words, guys, privation, mendicancy, and penury. These three words, they are synonyms for poverty. They are synonyms for poverty. So the answer is D. Yeah, Prabhu Ram, you are right. Harsha, Jagriti, all of you are right. Affluence is the right answer. So 
got it all of you can we move on to the next one affluence doesn't indicate poverty my dear affluence is connected to richness penury can be used as poverty naresh you can use it in the same way as poverty okay can we move on to the next one guys yeah all of you who have answered it as d is the right answer now go on to the next one quickly quickly Uh, so with penury you can say due to his penury he had to he had to sell out his house which was very dear to him due to his penury he had to sell out his house which was very dear to him yeah naresh Hi Lakshmi Sharma. Good evening. Yeah, quickly, quickly answer for this one. So I have already got some answers. Harvinder says C. Nikhil D. Naresh says prescribe. Silpa says D. Rajdeep says D. Abhilasha says D. Yes, guys, awesome. You are right. Yeah, most of you have got it right. So D is prescribe is your answer because prescribe means to advise. Prescribe means to advise, isn't it? Guys, prescribe means to answer. What is the other? What is the meaning of proscribe? What is the meaning of proscribe? So, proscribe, interdict, and forbid. They are synonyms for ban. Sorry. Synonyms for ban or bar or prevent. So they are all synonyms. A uh, proscribe. A forbid, interdict, they are all synonyms for ban, bar, prevent. Harvinder, are you asking me a question? Harvinder, are you asking me a question? I am not able to follow. I don't know whether you are asking me something.
that gives the answer. We are moving on to the next one. Yes, quickly answer guys. He wants synonyms, uh, he wants PDF of synonyms. Uh, we don't provide any PDF, uh, Harvinder. I have discussed a whole lot of words which you will be finding in my uh, the videos which uh, uh, is there for vocabulary. You can look up the videos for vocabulary. I have shared quite a few synonyms and antonyms in that. Yeah, I have already uh, clicked on the next one. Hello, quickly answer guys. Welcome Lakshmi. Please attend the sessions regularly so that you can benefit from it. Ma'am D. What is the meaning of option D? Ankita and Ajay, what is the meaning of option D? All are answering D. <laughs> but what is the meaning of D? Swin Swanaj D. Harshad? So yes, POS is the answer. The POS means a collection of people. This is a collection of people, okay? Whereas if you look at cozy, bouquet and bunch, they are collection of flowers. Collection of flowers. Yes guys, all clear? Did you follow? So, where we are talking about collection, no? So, that's the reason I told you collection of flowers. Here, there is collection of people. Okay. Got it, guys. Can we move on to the next one? Hello, quickly, quickly. Hey, this we have done with. So, I have got some answers. So, Rahul says D, Reshu C, Vijay says D, uh, Jagriti says Jini says D, 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 yeah. So, yes, good. So, here when we are talking about genre, genus and type, they all refer to a uh, type or group. Whereas, uh, genus is, refers to origin. Origin or source. Yeah, 
yeah so i think this one all of you got it uh, genre genus and type they all refer to type or group and genus is origin or source yeah fine guys i move on to the next one Hi Ash Muhammad, why are you so late today? It's already nine ten. Guys, are you enjoying the session? Are you learning some new words? Guys, are you enjoying the session? Are you learning some new words? All answers are coming. Impressive session. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Arvinder. So we have A, C. There's a lot of answers coming in. Harsh says A. Kripa says A. Jaita says A. Yes, ma'am. So much. We wait eagerly for your sessions. Okay, Jagriti. Did you hit the like button or not? Prince Swaraj A. Okay. Ankita says flank. Jagriti says lateral. A ma'am. Yeah, uh, so Abhilasha, you're right. Those who have answered A, Prince Maharaj, Shilpa, uh, Shilpa, I think a whole lot of you have answered as A. Uh, harsh. So A is the right one, guys. A linear means a straight line, right? Linear is a straight line. Whereas if you talk about this, it all refers to side, sideways. And flank is the side of an uh, side of a person, uh, of a person or an animal's body. So all are referring to side, whereas linear is a straight line. So A is your answer. Jagriti. Thank you, Shravani. Uh, thank you. Please attend the sessions. You can set a reminder for yourself so that at 8 o'clock you don't miss the session. Please do hit the like button. Side long, matlab side wa, uh, side ka hissa, jagriti side ka hissa. Yes, Naresh, a session is from 8 o'clock to 9.30. Okay, moving on. Yeah, pick. Till 9.30 hash. Oh, okay, Ankita. I hope you are enjoying the session, Ankita. Thank you, 
Sanjay Gupta. Okay, great. So I hope you enjoy the session and please attend the session regularly at eight o'clock. So Anjali says, see. <coughs> Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> Jagriti. So Harshwell says uh, glossary. Abhilasha, she's right. Abhilasha, you hit the target. Uh, so guys, when we talk about, it is D, Harvinder, it is D, not B. Left turn is the answer. Left turn uh, is the tall stand, you know, uh, in church, if you see in church, uh, where the um, bishop or the priest of the church, he speaks, he has a table in front of him, na, where he keeps the Bible. That is the place which is called, that a tall table is called a lectern. That tall table, which is used by the bishop of the church, is called a lectern. Whereas, uh, if you look at lexicon, lexicon is a dictionary, compendium is collection, Glossary is a collection of words. So these are all collection, connected to collection of words. Compendium is only collection. So uh, D is your answer. Lectern is your answer. Lectern is the tall table used by the priest of the church. Where he places the Bible to read it out. That is the table which is referred to as lectern. Uh, compendium, compendium is collection. Basically, compendium means collection. That is not a collection of books, but compendium is also collection. Since Swaraj, I just told you, uh, you have seen in the church, right, where the father keeps the Bible and reads. That tall table is called a lectern. Yeah, guys. Hello, we'll move on. Quickly, guys. So Harbinder says D, Sanjay Gupta says D. Yeah, so uh, guys, if you are talking about memento, 
So most of you are correct. I think Harvinder, Sanjay, Jaita, Shivendra, Shravani, Sinswaraj, Anjali, Swaraj Verma, Harsh, Shilpa, Shilpa, all of you have got it right. Memoir is the answer. Memoir is a record. Record which is kept, right? So that is a record. Whereas if you talk about memento, memorial, emblem, they are all connected to the past. Okay? So memento is a souvenir of the past. Memorial, you build some statue or some monument uh, to remember someone. So that is again connected to the past. Emblem also is the same. So that's the reason your answer is D. D is memoir, which is a record. If you can call it a record or uh, you can uh, call it a chronicle. Okay, guys. It is not A, Ankita. It is not A. It is D. See, memento is a souvenir. Souvenir which reminds you of the past, right? Ankita, did you get the answer? Okay, guys, done. We'll move on to the next one. Okay, pick up this, guys, quickly. Guys, please understand this pedigree is that is not reference to, there is no reference to uh, the dog food. Okay, please don't consider pedigree uh, to be connected to the dog food. So some says B, some says C, Rajdeep says D, Kivendra says B, Ankita says C. Ankita, okay guys, so when we talk of genealogy, what is genealogy guys? This is the study of history. Genealogy is study of history. Okay, and then we talk about descent. Descent is what? Your origin. Right, what is pedigree? Pedigree is also your descent. Genetics is study of genes. So guys, 
<laughs> so genealogy, descent, and pedigree, they are all connected to the study of history or origin. Okay, whereas genetics is the study of genes. So those who have answered it are D. D is the correct answer. D is the correct answer. So I think Abhilasha, Shravani, uh, Arpit, uh, then we have Shweta, all of you have uh, given the correct answer guys. Anybody has any doubts about it? Guys, any doubts? Yeah? Clear? All of you clear? Any doubts you have? So, uh, I had another 15 uh, questions for sentence correction, but then today we will not be able to do it. Uh, I will pick some other day to do that. Okay, um, let me combine it with something else and I will get you those uh, questions. Okay, guys. So, great session guys. Thank you so much for attending. Um, we will go through these uh, sentences some other time because we don't have time now. So guys, please uh, do, do not forget to take the Anacademy subscriptions. You have a whole lot of benefit for it. You get uh, live classes. You can interact with the educator. You will have live polls and leaderboards. Um, you have test series and analysis for the test series and live doubt clearing sessions. So please, um, yeah, tomorrow we have a very interesting session, Jagriti. Uh, so I'll be taking up questions from IFT, ZAT and CAT. So uh, that would be the session, a very important session. Make sure all of you attend. And then... Um, to get this app, it's very easy guys. Just go to Play Store, download the Anacademy Learning app and install. Just two steps, very easy steps. And uh, after that, you have to look for the plus course and your goal is CAT. And what do you get here? You get about 30 hours of live sessions every day, structured courses in English and Hindi. 14, you get to uh, learn from 14 top educators, 14 plus top educators and there will be new courses published every month. So there are a whole lot of benefits you get and uh, so the subscriptions are really reasonable for one month 3500, three months it's two nine months, seven six months, two triple three, 12 months 1458 and 24 months is really really reasonable that is 875 per month. In addition to this, if you use my coupon code BYLIVE, you will get an additional discount of 10%. Isn't it amazing, guys? Please do um, subscribe to the course and use my coupon code, guys. And then it's not only CAT, you have NEET, JEE, 9, 10, 11, 12. List is endless. You have it on an academy. And uh, please, this is the most important thing. Please like and share this video as much as possible. And also subscribe. Please subscribe to this video and uh, to hashtag Cats Live Daily. Guys, please subscribe to hashtag Cats Live Daily. And like and share the video as much as you can. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, all of you have been wonderful. You can use my coupon code BYLIV and get a discount up to 10%. Uh, amazing guys, you guys were really interactive and very um, jovial and I really liked interacting with you, teaching you. So until tomorrow, signing off. Bye-bye. Good night.